hi guys welcome to digital tech join it has been a while that i've released any tutorial in this channel due to some reasons but i'm back so today i'm going to show you how to use microsoft azure platform and share your files using the shared access signature url now shared access signature url is similar to using aws s3 pre-signed url now let us see how we can do that in azure but before we get into that i request users who have not gone through my playlist of azure to visit my playlist on microsoft azure tutorial and view all those videos related how to create a free account what is the common tricks and tips of using azure platform how to set up a vm deploy your asp.net application on azure and many other tutorials that will help you to have better understanding on using azure portal so now let's go ahead and create a mechanism to share your files to your users using the SAS URL. So I'm at Azure portal and I've clicked on sign in. So I've already logged in. So this is my profile digital tech join at the rate gmail.com. I'm going to select it and enter the password and click on sign in. So I'm going to log into my portal and here you can see it is successfully logged in and I'll be redirected to default dashboard. Now in my tutorial, I've also covered on some of the important aspects of using the Azure portal. So now here in order to share your files across uh, different users, okay, external users, uh, you're giving the option to download your file. You need to use the storage account. So I'll go to the storage account, click on storage account. Right now, I don't have any storage account. I'll create a storage account. So here is this is my subscription, and then I'm going to select a uh, my resource group. Now you can create a resource group. I've created a resource group called Digital Tech and Tutorials, and then I'm going to use my Digital Tech Join. file demo okay this is a storage name this should be unique without space i'm selecting the center india this is a standard i know since for it's a demo i'm going to select the local internet storage and click on the next here i don't want to use api and access key and i'm going to use cool, cool optimize since this is for a demo and click on networking and make sure that you enable all public access and let the routing be the default microsoft network routing click on data protection so if you want that your files that is uploaded and that you're sharing with others should be secure and should have the option for soft delete and backup then you can select all this option for now i'm going to uncheck all this option and click on next this is the default encryption click on next you want you can give a tag file share and this is the value demo file share and click on review so it is here you can see it is running the final validation and it is successfully done and i'm going to click on create so you can see it is getting deployed and here you can see the deployment is in progress Yes, yeah, so the deployment is successful and we have su successfully deployed the storage component. Let us click on go to resource and here you can see digital tech join file demo is created. Now this is my basically a storage account. Now within that in order for me to provide an option I'm going to click on container and I'm going to add a container. So I'm going to say demo container. And here you can see the option should be enabled for you to so make an public accessibility to this account. Currently, this is private and disabled. So, so now in order to make it private, what you can do is go to the configuration. In order to make public, go to the configuration option over here. And here you can see allow blob anonymous access. You need to enable it. Okay. 
and this is option that you need to enable it and then you can save it it's successfully saved now now you go to the storage type and I click on container click add container okay. so it, let me just check let us go to the configuration again this addition setting that I must have missed So we also need to enable allow storage access key. So we need to enable this. So we enable allow blog and anonymous and we need to also enable allow storage account access key. Now while we created this storage account, these options were there and we had disabled it. So we need to enable this option. We can also enable this later once the account is created. So now we enable both and I click on save. So now go back to my container and here I should be now able to create a container yes i am able to demo container and instead of private i'm going to select container okay with read access for container and block so this is important and i click on demo container so now you can see my container is ready and it's publicly accessible now now once the container is ready that means a store under the storage account i'll go back and just shoot you under my storage account digital file demo i have a container which is demo container now inside the demo container i'm going to upload the file so let's click on upload so once you click on upload you can see the option over there to select the file so i'll click on browse in my desktop there is a pdf file i select that and click on upload so here you can see successfully uploaded now in order to save this file or share this file with other users you will have to create an sas url so so i'll just reiterate so once you go to your storage account uh, click on demo then click on container demo container here you can see my file is uploaded now if I click on the file I get a property and if I just copy this this URL in the property and I try to access it it will not allow any access so you can see yeah it is it is it is since we created um, a, a container which is publicly accessible you are able to access however you will always want that this URL that you're sharing should have an expiry date and it should not be publicly like you know it should not be always accessible in order to do that what you need to do is that you need to go and click on the right hand side the three dots and there's an option called SAS which is a shared a signature which is a shared access signature now here you can see the various options selected on on sharing this URL with a predefined expiry date so there is a start and a and uh, expiry date so here you can see it started today that is 6 39 this is the time and it it will it will expire tomorrow at this time so what i'm going to do is that uh, generate this SS and i'm going to set a uh, five minutes okay and this will be like the same date just today's date 27 expiry date is with, okay so what i'm going to do is that okay this should work now yes this is that means this is valid till five minutes so I'll, we'll see how what happens if you're accessing this url okay after this expiry date now here if you scroll down there is one more option called allowed protocol so i'm going to select http and https and click on generate ss token url ss token and url so this is a blob ss url that i can copy now this url is secure okay which has an expiry date and if i go ahead and just paste that url and enter it i should be able to still see it but this url is as a token 
plus it has an expiry so now in this case what will happen is that i can go ahead and share it uh, with uh, with my users but this is uh, secure because it first of all it is secure and second thing this this is a url so you can see this url has a token plus it has an expiry date and time so now what we're going to do is that we can now share this on on an email and you know you can um, in your document or anywhere where you can uh, share the url you can share it and this file is now accessible so you can click on this url just and then you can download this file and so it is it is also downloadable so you can also do that so now let us see after after um, this expiry period what is the message that you're getting on this url so i'll pause the video and after this gets expired i'm just going to what is the error message we are getting it but but overall we have understood the creation of a, a storage account then we created a container and we made sure that the container is as having container anonymous access and then we uploaded the file and in that option file upload we have got this generate essays and i recommend anybody who wants to, to share this 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 option should be opted uh, which is as a temporary very short period so it can you, you can use this when you want to have any paid content or you want to host any uh, uh, you know, videos or upload any videos with, with having a uh, fixed uh, or a defined expiry period so uh, let us see once this expiry period um, date is if it is expired then what is the error message we are getting when we are opening the same url in the browser so now guys let us now access the same url and see what the message since the expiry time is is already the url already expired now if you click on that here you can see there is an error that includes that you know um, your signature is no valid and it is already expired so guys uh, i hope you uh, understood and like this video this is a quick way of uh, sharing your files with a uh, with a uh, expiry and a token url for uh, to secure your contents so guys uh, i i really uh, thank you for your time uh, please do subscribe and uh, like my video please do share my channel link with your friends family and colleagues and help me to grow the channel thank you so much